Meet Tsar Bomba, the most powerful thermonuclear bomb ever detonated. Created by the Soviets in 1961, it was exploded over Novaya Zemlya Island in the Arctic Ocean on October 30, 1961, an unparalleled demonstration of Soviet strength amid the tense Cold War period. The bomb was crafted by some of Soviet's top physicists, including Andrei Sakharov. It was initially designed with a 100 megaton capacity. However, considering the potential catastrophic fallout, it was reconfigured to yield 50 megatons, still 3,800 times stronger than the Hiroshima bomb. The modified fusion process in Tsar Bomba significantly reduced the fallout. The finished weapon weighed 27 tons and was around 26 feet long and 7 feet in diameter. It was officially referred to as RDS-220, but it was famously known as Tsar Bomba in the West. A 295V bomber, modified to carry this colossal weapon, was piloted by Andrei Dornovtsev. The bomb was fitted with a parachute to slow its descent, giving the aircraft time to escape the blast radius. The plane took off from the Kola Peninsula on October 30, 1961. An observer plane joined the bomber. At 11.32 a.m. Moscow time, Tsar Bomba was dropped over the Mityushika Bay test site on the deserted island of Novaya Zemlya. It exploded around 2.5 miles above ground, triggering an immense mushroom cloud. The detonation's flash was visible some 620 miles away. The blast's impact was equally vast, completely destroying an uninhabited village 34 miles from the epicenter and causing damage to buildings more than 100 miles away. It was estimated that the heat from the blast would have inflicted third-degree burns up to 62 miles away. Despite its success, the Tsar Bomba was never considered for operational use due to its enormous size and inability to be deployed by a ballistic missile. The bomb had to be flown in by conventional aircraft, which could be easily intercepted before reaching the target. Consequently, Tsar Bomba was perceived as a propaganda weapon, demonstrating Soviet might rather than practical warfare. Following the 1961 detonation, Sakharov, one of the bomb's creators, became a key figure in advocating for underground nuclear testing. A ban on above-ground tests was signed by the U.S., Britain, and the USSR in 1963, with many other countries joining later.